This is a cold steel buoy machete. And as you can tell, it's got scratches and dinks and shit all over it. And I quite extensively use this thing. I mean, <laughs> I purchased this for primary use and nothing else. I didn't, I had no no wants in buying a blade just to leave it laying around the house and not using. But uh, as you can see, it's the blade is exactly, what, 18 inches long to the end of the hilt. Uh, the only reason I have the duct tape on the back of it here is because I wear it when I was riding a four-wheeler and when I had, I had mud on the back of my fenders and stuff so it had rubbed the rubbed the nylon right here loose just a little bit so I put the duct tape on there to actually cure that problem. I'm actually going to take this case here, cut it down and use some of the parts out of this and make a leather sheath out of it to mimic what this looks like but I haven't just haven't got around to it yet. But yeah, this thing I got from the uh, internet site called Bud K Catalog. It was 20 bucks. I got it, got it brought to the house and everything. Shipped UPS for like a whole total of what, like 23 dollars or something like that. I've hit rocks with it. I've hit coral with it. I've hit, uh, I've hit my four wheeler with it by accident, and it didn't do nothing but cut a hole in the rack. So. It's not a cheap made blade. It may say right here on the back of it, I don't know if you can catch that, that says cold steel. If you can catch it right there on the corner, right there above my thumb, it says China, Big whip de doo Hell, they're the ones that made ninja swords, so <laughs> they know what they're doing. But that sword is, or that, this machete is a excellent, excellent blade. The, the metal goes all the way through the molded, molded uh, handle. I think this is actually, I don't know if this is, I don't think this is a rubber handle. I think it's actually polypropylene, which is a really impact resistant. So when you're using it and you actually hit something like a tree stump or a limb and it's hard, you don't feel the shock in your hand like you do with a conventional hard plastic handle. And you don't have to worry about this handle actually, the rivets coming loose and breaking apart and the handle splitting. I mean, granted, you could repair that very easily. Probably easier if you could repair this if something happened to it. You can see right through there, you can see the metal of the blade, the metal of the blade that passes straight through the handle. And even this piece on the end right here, that right there is actually covered in metal too, or it has metal inside of it too, because you cannot bend that. <clears throat> it won't give. So, for $25, if that's what it costs for you, it's well worth it. I've cut trees down faster than people with uh, their sixty, seventy dollar Ottawa machetes, or however the heck you pronounce that crazy brand. Of course, I have one of them too. But that thing has got the weight and the dagger versatility that anybody would need out of any machete. There's just nothing that that one, that this machete couldn't do that. A $200 machete couldn't do. I'd actually put this one up against a $200 machete any day. And this one right here would probably actually come out better off. And there you go.